Sorry, um, I took a drink of coffee right as it started recording. I thought I had a little bit longer. Um, okay, so for history this week, in our 11th and 10th grade, we are working on sequencing. I have heard a couple of you guys saying you don't really um, want to print out all these worksheets, and I hear you, I understand. I hate printing stuff out, especially in color. Um, and so I have been working with some of our other self-contained teachers and we decided Google Draw is really this pretty cool thing and it's all digital and you guys do not have to print anything out. I like it a little bit more. I'm going to kind of go over it with you right now um, and how you can use it with your student. Um, if paper copies work better for you and your student, please let me know and I will just print, um, I'll put the printable version out for you. But this is how this works. So um, these are movable. So you guys can place them on the three or whatever and save it that way. Um, and so how I suggest you do this with your student is um, take two options, three maybe if you guys feel like they're capable, um, and you'll be working on the first one and you'll say, which of these is first? Ideally, they'll select the seeds, you'll congratulate them, and you'll move that to one. And then you'll put the next option out there. I would um, switch them up like in how they're arranged, how they look, uh, just to create a difference there. And I would say, what do we do after we put the seeds in the pot? And hopefully they'll select soil. And then um, you guys can say, after we put soil in the pot, what do we need to do? And they'll say water, hopefully. And you guys will keep going until you're done. And then you can save it and you can email it to me um, or you can send a picture of it to me if you wanna do that. But that is about it. I hope you guys like this. Again, if you do not want to do this, if a paper is better, please let me know and I will give you the paper version of this. Thank you.